Hello everyone, welcome back to GK Code Labs. So in this video, I have decided to discuss about different varieties of cloud options that we get. Uh, what motivated me uh, to make this video is quite a while back, I was uh, interviewing two candidates basically who were uh, cloud certified. So specifically few uh, uh, of the certifications they had already done and uh, they were close to uh, four five years of experience into data engineering so i tried to analyze them uh, based on their cloud skills but i was very surprised that uh, the certified candidates I, uh, I i know that they uh, might have worked really hard but what uh, what direction uh, you are uh, uh, moving to uh, when you try to gain this certification is what uh, questioned me because until you don't have the very basic idea of uh, what cloud is what all types of clouds are and what actually you are learning uh, be, before giving these certifications that understanding is very important so uh, that actually motivated me to make this video in this video i'll be discussing about uh, what is the difference the uh, overall difference between on-premise private cloud public cloud hybrid cloud and multi-cloud so overall like uh, listening the first few keywords on-prem and cloud that mostly everyone is aware of but uh, what are the nitty-gritties of these uh, each and every um, divisions that you, that you see in uh, cloud terminologies so that is what we will be discussing so first of all let's go with on-premise on-premise is the on uh, what is the premise your particular confined area so if any company or any organization uh, wants to keep its servers data and resource uh, the uh, resourcing capabilities into its confined area and their own managed premises uh, that uh, sort of server architecture is on premise so all the servers your storage your resources everything you have to manage on the actual physical machines that are placed on your local premises so no uh, external uh, factor matters into it so that is basically on premise i hope at least 50% uh, of you are aware of uh, this but now gradually when uh, we'll discuss and uh, we'll see the significance of other options uh, i hope that will help you now coming to private cloud what is private cloud my on premise was already private right what is private cloud then? Uh, let's understand, I am a new organization. I want to keep all my resources. I have the, uh, I mean, people who can manage and uh, manage the security, storage and everything. But actually, I don't have that kind of resources that I could manage all those servers on my local premises. In that case, I can go for a private cloud. So there is no such, uh, there are companies like AWS offers virtual private cloud and many other like digital ocean they also provide vpcs uh, but uh, just try to understand the concept first uh, companies can offer you private clouds that as of now like you have to manage everything but we can provide the infrastructure that you want but you don't have or you cannot afford to maintain in your local premises so that is the private cloud, you can say. Now, many people are confused that uh, they have all also uh, heard of the terms like IaaS, that is infrastructure as a service. How is that different uh, than the private cloud? They also provide infrastructure, right? But uh, we'll come to that later. From the vendor's perspective, this IaaS uh, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, software as a service will come uh, in the same video, but uh, just hold on to it. Now coming to public cloud. Now uh, the public cloud providers like AWS, GCP uh, and uh, Azure, uh, they also provide entire thing as uh, you can say, um, all the services you can use on the account based systems. Like you can use all the services let me know your company domain and um, you can use all these services that also will be isolated uh, depending upon the domain that company has on the back end what infrastructure is working behind that you don't have to care for it you just um, log in with your company domain uh, 
um, um, register as many user uh, your company has and uh, on the back end we will do the stuff on the front end you can use our services so uh, when uh, you uh, want to have that kind of infrastructure that will come as a public cloud so no matter your your data your resources are still yours but you are accessing us on the account based system now the thing to note here what was happening on the private cloud these companies were giving you the en entire infrastructure you have to manage what service you want you can take from us or you can manage your own now what is hybrid cloud there is a very special uh, scenario which you can see as a very sensitive sort of organization with, which has some very sensitive data um, banking domain insurance domain you can understand uh, which has very uh, sensitive data which at least as of this point uh, although cloud is very uh, reliable uh, in terms of securities and all but as of now let's say a, a company has very sensitive data and they don't want to expose a part of data to the public cloud so what they can do they can keep certain resources certain part of their let's say storage where they uh, let's say the sensitive data that they have is uh, in terms of their uh, storage like what they are saving so for that particular data and they already have an infrastructure so that particular data or resources they can keep it to themselves and rest of the services they can uh, opt from a, uh, a cloud so in that case that uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, structure is um, called as hybrid cloud so i hope you got the hybrid cloud now coming to multi cloud um, there are uh, chances that a few of the services you don't like of aws you find it costly you are going for those kind of services with uh, let's say microsoft azure or uh, gcp so if you are including multi clouds that is a, 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 again uh, multi cloud so uh, as simple as that so that was overall if you didn't get anything just pause it rewind it and listen to that very carefully uh, because that uh, sort of uh, understanding is very important once you claim to be a uh, certified cloud engineer cloud uh, associate architect or uh, solution architect or but uh, um, if any interviewer in big companies uh, that they usually do they try to analyze your basic skill do you even know what is a public cloud what is private cloud and all so uh, that uh, small things people forget when they only target these certifications on the basis of like uh, achieving that just i want that badge uh, to post on linkedin but uh, these small things they forget like at least i should have these uh, basic understandings right now how all this what i discussed right now comes in uh, contrast with the very famous uh, terms um, iaas that is infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service so uh, I would say uh, in very simple words these are the terms uh, as a service what you hear these are the terms from the vendors perspective what they are offering so infrastructure as a service can be closely related to but not it is actually not but it can be closely related to the private cloud okay so they are providing you the infrastructure infrastructure as a service so they are providing you the infrastructure but there are limitations how that is different with i am not sure but uh, maybe some one of you will have the question that private cloud was also doing the same thing they we didn't have the infrastructure they were providing us the infrastructure but how is this iaas first of all this is the terminology reference from the vendors perspective maybe they are same maybe they are not i'll clear what is different uh, first thing from as a user's perspective they want a infrastructure company is ready to provide the infrastructure now the infrastructure that you will ask from a um, company let's say azure microsoft azure they will provide you as it is what you asked because that was a server you were not able to establish on your premise they provided as a infrastructure as a service but what private cloud did are you sure like what you requested from azure 
आर यू श्योर लाइक यू विल बी एबल टू हैंडल ऑल योर सर्विसेज इन टू दैट मे बी यू आर श्योर इफ यू हैव डेडिकेटेड डेटा इंजीनियर्स बट मे बी यू आर नॉट बट इन प्लेस ऑफ दैट हाउ प्राइवेट क्लाउड विल हेल्प यू दैट विल बी एबल टू स्केल बिकॉज राइट नाउ दिस सर्विस दैट क्लाउड प्रोवाइडर इज गिविंग यू इज अ पब्लिक क्लाउड द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑन देयर एंड विल बी एक्चुअली डिफरेंट that you have not requested you have requested only for the resources but what kind of libraries they have added what kind of uh, uh, back end they have uh, for you to run your application is entirely different so uh, right now you can say that public cloud is more reliable public cloud is more reliable than uh, the services that uh, in directly you go and purchase in infrastructure as a service uh, so that is how uh, i mean uh, closely you can relate but there are differences now coming to platform as a service platforms like uh, let's say heroku if you have heard of it so uh, that um, allows you to install and host your applications so anything which uh, allows you to maintain your own application but we are uh, providing you a platform where all the back end things we will handle but uh, front end you have to handle so we are providing a platform so these kind of uh, services um, these cloud um, uh, platforms um, say as a platform as a service now coming to software as a service so very end user very end user uh, whatever they want uh, to directly deal with uh, their particular requirements they are using the actual features uh, for example you can say google drive so you are using entire features of it you can upload it you can share it and uh, you can download and uh, you can maintain the you, you have a certain capacity but as a software you are using it so that sort of services comes into um, software as a service now also uh, i asked uh, that particular candidate do you understand all this stuff uh, in contrast to serverless architecture so there is another uh, very special uh, uh, sort of variant uh, onto cloud that uh, many companies are uh, bringing in that is serverless architecture that is one Uh, another layer on top of your software as a service that is you can use very core uh, features uh, very core um, uh, tools uh, like uh, you have to run an sql query you have to run a big data uh, you have to process a big data and uh, you want to uh, you want to issue a small analytic query which on the back end will query on a large amount of data but right now you have no time to uh, set up everything and all you have uh, somehow uh, your data onto that cloud for that you can use these serverless features where the end query the end query or uh, end request you have to submit on the back end wherever your data is it will compute everything and if it will give back to you but what you have to pay for is whatever query you submitted on the back end you have to pay starting from your issuing the query from that layer till the back end whatever happened to each and every thread of that operation you have to pay for it what was the amount of uh, request that you sent maybe you have sent multiple requests and on the back end what it did how much time did it use the uh, uh, your uh, cpu resources how much data was uh, manipulated and how much data was transferred in case that is distributed how much data was transferred over the nodes for each and every thread of that operation you have to pay for it so it's not like a blanket subscription but whatever from the end you uh, issued and you got your result whatever happened on the back end you have to pay for it for each and every thread summed up that will be your bill what benefit you got here you didn't have to pay or you didn't have to do anything but uh, that also have uh, certain limits because your data has to be in uh, some defined places it's better you always use these uh, serverless uh, features on the same cloud where your data resides uh, but anyways i hope you got the uh, reference so these were very small uh, and very simple terms simple to understand but 
आई सीरियसली वंडर वाई पीपल आर स्टिल going towards uh, gathering all those certification badges when they don't even have understanding of these basic features so i hope all of you got uh, what on the back end you have to understand and keep in your mind in the first place before uh, going for these certifications just don't do these certifications just for the sake of those badges it's always uh, good to have certifications but uh, please try to uh, understand what you are actually learning so uh, thank you guys for watching this video i hope you liked it and uh, please subscribe to gk code labs if you have not already done thank you guys see you later